Hi, my scholars. This is my school channel, and my name is Abiola. In this particular channel, we are solving the Jam CBT past question for the subject Physics, the year 2015. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us and be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. In this video segment, we are solving questions 56 to 66. Let's start with question 56. The eyeball consists of a round, tough, white skin called what? Okay, so this is the sclerotic. You know, the walls of the eyeball, it has three layers. Okay, we have the outermost, which is the sclera. We have the middle, which is the choroid, And we have the innermost, which is the retina. So, from what we just uh, put forward now, we can see that this describes the sclera or the sclerotic. So, the correct option here is option A. 57. Which of the following is a vector quantity? So when you talk about vector quantities, you know, they have magnitude or size, then direction. So there's magnitude, there's direction. So um, let's look through the options provided and see which of them actually belongs to the class of vector quantities. So um, we have mass, work, and time. They are actually scalar quantities. Other examples of scalar quantities include um, length, you have speed, distance, and what have you. So let's go back to vector quantities. We said they have magnitude and direction. And in this case of temperature gradient, it's different from temperature, okay? Temperature itself is a scalar quantity. But temperature gradient, if you are familiar with definition, actually uh, put in place direction, okay? So the correct option here is option A, okay? Temperature gradient is a vector quantity. 58. Efficiency of a transformer is equal to what? Okay, so we have, it should be power, all right, in the secondary over power in the primary coil to put, or output power over input power. So that makes for option D. Option D is efficiency of a transformer equals power developed in the secondary coil divides power supplied to the primary coil times 100%. So that's power in secondary over power in primary. So option D is very correct. Do not forget that you can access any of the my school tools all you need to do click on the link in the description below it's going to move you to the my school website where you can get the my school mobile app or the my school software so join me as we solve question 59 volatile liquids usually do what okay so uh, we should know that volatile liquids they evaporate readily okay they have um, weak intermolecular forces um, they have high vapor pressure and they have low boiling points. So if we fit in what we just described, we will have that option B is very correct. Volatile liquids usually have low boiling points. So option B is super correct. Do not forget to hit the like button, also tap on subscribe button, and always hit bell notification so you can get alerts as soon as we update in the next video clip. Question 60. When a man moves towards a plane mirror at a speed of 6 meters per second, the distance between the man and his image increased at a speed of what? Okay, so we can see that the speed is given as um, 6 meters per second. Remember formula for speed equals distance over time in seconds. Distance in meters. So we are told 6, all right, 6 meters per 1 second each. All right, so that is um, from the question um, we can read when a man moves towards a plane mirror at a speed of six meter per second. So we can refer to this man and the distance towards the plane mirror as the object distance. So the value we have here is the object distance. And this is the time. All right, so these two um, values make up the speed okay so if we have the object distance as six all right and uh, we recall that for a plane mirror the object distance in front of the mirror equals to object distance equals to the image distance all right so if the object distance is six image distance as well will be six all right so six plus six we have twelve 
So we can see that um, that makes two of what we are looking at. So the distance between, now the question now reads that the distance between the man and his image increased at a speed of what? So we can see the distance between the man and the mirror is six. Then from the man to, from the mirror now to the image behind, that is six. So all of it put together, we're going to have 12. So that's my submission. So the correct option should be option C. Let's go back to the screen to pin out the correct option. So if we look through the options provided, we have option C, 12 meter per second. So that is my own submission. Option C is very variable. Question 61. Which of the following instruments is most accurately for comparing electromotive of two cells? Okay, so that instrument is your potentiometer. It's also used to measure precisely the PD. All right, it can also be used to measure or compare resistances. So the correct option here is option D for potential meter. 62. In an inelastic collision, what happens? Okay, this is what happens in an inelastic collision. The colliding body, they stick together. Then after collision, the kinetic energy decreases, but momentum is conserved. So both for elastic collision and inelastic collision, momentum is conserved only for Elastic collision, kinetic energy, all right, is conserved. Why in inelastic collision, kinetic energy decreases after collision. So that marks for the changes. So let's look at some um, statement factors that are very correct or accurate about inelastic collision. So in inelastic collision, we know that energy is decreased, kinetic energy to be precise. Then we also know that linear momentum is conserved. So we have statement two and statement four as have been correct. So Let's look through the options provided and select the option that carries statement 2 and statement 4. And that option is option B. So option B is very correct. Do not forget that many of our solution providers are waiting for you on the MySchool website. All you need to do, ask those questions right now by clicking on the link in the description below. It moves you to the MySchool website where you have the platform to ask your questions. So join me as we solve question 63. The normal temperature of the human body is recorded at what range or what ranges do they are they being set um, for so if you look through the options provided you know when you talk about the normal human body temperature uh, we can it's very relative okay because we can consider age we can consider geographical location we can consider other things all right so um, based on the context of options provided I think um, the most viable one we can go for is between 35 degrees to 37 degrees Celsius based on the options provided. So option D is the most viable option. Perhaps you have better steps, explanations or contributions you'd like to make, please would like to know all you need to do. Indicate that question number, attach your contribution and we are waiting for your response. Number 64. The property of a body to remain at rest or to continue to move in a straight line is known as what? This is known as initial, okay? When you try to define Newton's first law of motion, you are having an idea of an initial. So this completely fits for initial. Um, impulse is just the average, um, product of the average force acting on a particle any time it takes to act. You no know, force, mass and acceleration, energy. The ability to get work done. So the correct option here is option D for initial. 65. Momentum and kinetic energy are conserved in what? Okay, they are conserved in elastic motion. In elastic motion, what is conserved is momentum. Kinetic energy is not conserved. So um, we are looking for a concept whereby both um, momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. That term or concept fits for elastic collisions. Option B is very correct. Question 66. An alternating current with a frequency of 100 hertz has a period of what? So when we try to look into the relationship between frequency and period, period is represented by T. Okay, frequency equals 1 over T. All right, so we are asked to look for the period T. So we are going to make period the subject of the formula. So I have F times T equals 1. All right, we are looking for T. What do we do? Divide both sides by F. So my period T can be taken as 1 over the frequency. And we're giving the frequency as 100 hertz 
So that makes 0 0.01. So that should be our value. Let's go back to the screen to select the right option. So looking through the options provided, we'll find the correct option in option B, 0 0.01 seconds. Hence, we've come to the end of this video segment, but there are more video clips to come. And all you need to do is to hit on that like button. Also, do not forget to click on subscribe button and always tap on bell notification so you can get alerts as soon as we update the next video clip.